Hey guys, um, I just wanted to come to you live tonight and say hello and give you an update since a lot of people have been asking um, how I'm doing. Um, and so I just wanted to get on here because I'm feeling good tonight and I'm kind of awake um, and I wanted to say hello. So good evening. Hi, Andrea. Um, I feel like every day I'm doing a little bit better, which is obviously huge and amazing. And I'm like so, so, so excited about that. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, about um, three weeks ago now, I was walking my dog and um, got hit by a car in a crosswalk in broad daylight. It was like 8 a.m. Um, hey girl, hey Sarah, hey Carol, hey Kathy, so excited all you guys are on to say hello. And um, I was in the hospital about a week and um, I'm now in rehab. I've been here about um, two weeks. Um, this rehab is amazing. You can obviously still see I'm in rehab. I have all these like fall signs and stuff. Hey Carol, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I'm still not putting on makeup or anything, but honestly, like, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't hate the way I look right now, and so I feel like that's kind of key, is that, like, I don't, you know, I don't look at myself and think, like, I look deformed or anything, you know, I'm looking okay, um, I was having a lot of facial paralysis, like, a lot, like, my left eye was bothering me, like, you wouldn't even believe, um, thank you, Kathy. Um, but it's actually coming back a lot. Um, they've been helping me with some therapies and stuff. And, um, you know, my, my Botox, on my left side, it's wearing off. I keep joking. It looks like I have Botox on my left side because when I go like this, my left side doesn't lift as much as my right, but it's wearing off a little bit. And then when I smile, it's actually like getting better. Like, this side wasn't smiling at all. It's not perfect yet, um, but it's getting so, so, so much better. So I'm so thankful for that. Um, so I'm still at rehab. Um, I still have that crazy contraption on my hips. Um, I am in pain, but I feel like it could be so much worse, honestly. Oh, it's one of these little contraption things fell off. It could be so, so, so much worse. Um, I'm doing actually really well with the pain, all things considered. Um, my most pain is still in my rear, which I know sounds weird, but I can't get off my butt. Like, because I have this crazy contraption on my hips. Oops, sorry. Lost you guys. Um, this crazy hip contraption thing with Bob. Um, I can't get off my butt. So that means that, you know, I'm sitting, I'm on my butt, I'm laying down, I'm on my butt. I'm just always on my butt and, um, it causes pain in my butt. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of a problem and that's where I feel a lot of my pain, but I'm at the point where I can like move and sit and stretch a little bit. Oh, thank you, Miranda. Hey, Sarah. Um, you guys are so sweet. So I'm, I'm doing much better in the pain department. Um, my hair is actually, you'll see like starting to grow back in a little bit. I've got like a little bit of a whiffle going on on this side. I have no idea how I'm going to grow that side out to this side, but I'll get there. Um, that's okay. So, um, I'm not super worried about my hair obviously right now. But honestly, like, my positive mindset is going a long, long, long way. Um, like, a long way. So I just want to give you an update that I'm doing better. If you guys need anything or want anything or want to chat, you know, feel free to IM me. Feel free to call me. Um, I am falling asleep randomly less, which is good because, like, last week I would, like, be sitting here, like, watching TV, and I wake up three hours later, and I'd be like, I didn't even mean to go to bed. But now, like, if I'm tired, I will, like, consciously take a nap, which is good. I'm not just, like, randomly falling asleep like a 90-year-old woman because, sorry if there are any 90-year-old women on this, but um, I literally was just, like, passing out all the time, and I was so tired all the time. Yesterday, um, you guys, I celebrated a full week of being able to go to the bathroom, um, not on my own. Like, I have to use a wheelchair and pivot because I still cannot put weight, and I will not be putting weight for probably another month. I'll be wheelchair-bound. Um, but I celebrated being able to go to the bathroom, so show me some love for being able to use the toilet because until you can't use the toilet, 
um, you don't realize how amazing it is to be able to use the toilet. So I can use the toilet. Um, I can get dressed, um, which is amazing. I, you know, can put on shirts and um, clothes and, you know, that feels like, I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like a new person um, and I can like wash up and that sort of stuff and feel like a normal human being. And I actually um, waxed my own eyebrows the other day, which I felt like was really impressive considering the state that I'm, that I'm in, <laughs> that I waxed my own eyebrows the other day. So, um, you know, I, I'm feeling okay. Like I know I'm not great. I'm not hundred percent. Like I said, I'm still non weight bearing and I won't be walking for probably another month. Um, but I'm getting much better and, um, I have a ton of PT here and a ton of OT. So physical therapy and occupational therapy. Um, they also have like speech therapists come in to help me with my paralysis, which is obviously really helping a lot. Um, and you know, a lot of people have asked me like about all my health and fitness stuff, like how the heck are you going to, um, keep up with all that. And obviously like, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of lower body exercises. I can do like in place marches and that sort of stuff sitting down. Um, but some really great and sort of exciting news is that, um, next month's fitness challenge, which I am going to run one because my health and fitness is super, super, super important to me, whether I'm wheelchair bound or not. I believe that anyone can do this. Um, is going to be based a lot on nutrition and drinking my Shakeology. And um, I have to log three workouts a week and they don't have to be beach body workouts, which right now um, I don't, I like, I can't do beach body workouts because I can't walk and I can't put any weight on my feet. So um, the group I'm going to be running is going to be based on um, drinking your Shakeology, which I don't normally require, but um, it, for next month, it is going to be required, if you will, um, doing really well with your nutrition and um, getting in three workouts a week. And those do not need to be beach body workouts. So if you're a runner, or you like yoga, or you go to the gym or whatever, for me, my workouts are going to be PT and OT. Um, and it's going to be part of this thing called the health bet. And basically, it what it means is that um, we have a an application on our phones and if you want to join us you're welcome to basically all you have to do is um, log five Shakeologies a week and log three workouts a week workouts of your choices like I said my workouts are going to be my PT and um, you can get a piece of this giant health bet pot which is going to be like um, it's up to $3 million. It can go up to $3 million. I believe it's at like 1.75 million right now. So it's split amongst everyone who does that, who logs that Shakeology and who logs that, um, workouts. So I will, I'm not giving up on this healthy lifestyle because I do believe one of the reasons I have recovered so fast and done so well is because of this healthy living lifestyle. So I just kind of wanted to say that on this call and I will definitely um, do a post about it tonight, like within the next hour so that people have some idea of what I'm talking about um, with this whole crazy health bet thing. Because I think a lot of people um, were curious if I was, Kip asked me, well, are you doing anything this month? Like, are you gonna be able to do anything this month? And the answer is I am gonna be able to do something this month. So. Um, so I wanted to thank you guys for hopping on and let you know that I'm feeling decent and that um, I'm really excited about all of my progress um, and I'm really excited that, you know, I'm going to be able to continue on this health and fitness journey um, and, you know, I'm not at the hospital to lose weight. You know, I have to remind myself of that, you know, like when they feed me food that I wouldn't normally eat. I'm um, not going to lie, I had lobster mac and cheese for lunch two days ago, okay? Um, I have to remind myself that I'm not here to lose weight. My body needs the calories. Oh, thank you, Claire. You're so sweet. Um, my body needs the calories, and I need to make sure that I'm using those calories to get better. Um, so, you know, even though I'm not eating the way I normally would at home, it is important that, you know, I'm using those calories. And, you know, I obviously have not gained weight and do not want to gain weight, but I'm not here, you know, to get like super ripped and, and lose weight. I have lost my abs because I, it's very hard to do crunches when you have this crazy apparatus on your stomach. Um, but I actually did get to do Pilates yesterday with my physical therapist, which was amazing. I mean, 
the help here, I can't even say enough good things about it. If I ever, I hope I never have to recommend a rehab for someone, but if I do, I will definitely um, recommend this place because it's just awesome. Um, and I'm really thankful that I'm here and they're taking such good care of me. So, um, so yeah, so, um, like I said, I won't be walking for another month or so. Um, and that's okay. Like I, you know, I, I'm okay with that. I'm, there's a laundry list of things that I'm thankful for. Um, I'm thankful I have my brain. I mean, that's number one is, you know, I haven't lost like any of my cognitive abilities. I can speak. I know exactly what's going on. I'm just as sharp and um, crazy and annoying as I always was, right? Um, I have my eyesight, I have my hearing, I'm not paralyzed. Um, guys, I have all my teeth. Like, explain that one to me. Explain how I, like, needed to have brain surgery and have all my teeth. Um, Nancy PT is definitely hard work, but it's good. It's really good. They work me hard, and it's good. Um, so, you know, crazy stuff like that, like, like I said, my teeth, like my, I don't have breaks in my arms. I don't have breaks in my legs. You know, my whole pelvis is shattered, but, um, you know, there's a lot of other things that could have gone wrong that, um, didn't. And I'm so thankful for that. And everyone keeps saying, oh, you know, your youth is on your side and yes, youth is on my side, but also the fact that I took really good care of myself and, and continuing to take really good care of myself and making sure that I keep up with my PT and uh, my workouts as much as I can after this is what's going to get me healthy too. And what's going to get me, you know, back to where I was and even better than where I was, um, before all this. So, um, like I said, you know, really big week for me with not randomly falling asleep. Um, and really big week for me with being able to go to the bathroom. I swear I was like not drinking a lot of water because it was like terrible to have to like, you know, go to the bathroom before, but now I'm staying really hydrated, which is helping me, um, a lot. Oh my God, Sandra, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, they're, they're really nice though. My, I mean, I don't know if my PT and my OT are watching this, but they're awesome and I'm so thankful for them and the nurses are great and the nurse assistants are great and everyone's great here. Um, I really, I really can't complain. Um, and oh, Nancy, you're so sweet. You know, like I, I should, I will tell them that joke, Sandra, you know, everyone keeps telling me like I'm so inspiring and I appreciate that. Um, but my attitude just goes a long way. Like me thinking, you know, thinking about, I always think about like how much worse it could have been and it could have been so much worse. And people that are at the scene basically said I lost so much blood. They thought that I wasn't alive, which is like scary. And I don't even like saying that obviously on camera, but, um, it's obviously great that I am alive, you know, and I've kind of bounced back from this and, um, that I'm taking everything in stride and um it's not fun to be in rehab um it's not fun to you know be away from my family they come see me every day but obviously it's not the same as being home in my bed I miss my dogs I miss my friends and they do come see, everyone comes to see me a lot and if you'd like to come see me shoot me a message um and I'll definitely arrange a time where you know you can come see me you guys are obviously welcome um you know, I'll arrange it around my, my therapy schedules, but I'm just like, you know, I'm just thankful for all that I do have, which is a lot compared to, um, a lot of other people they, they don't have, you know, and I see a lot of other people here in therapy and they're a lot worse off, off than I am. So, um, anyway, I know I get long winded on these things, but I, I will, <laughs> can't talk. I need a drink. Um, I will definitely, these polar seltzers are saving me. Um, I will definitely, um, post about the health bet and my September challenge group tonight so that people are aware and I'm going to have a really cool, um, special deal with it because I really want people to participate in it because I think that it's a really awesome opportunity. So, um, I will definitely post about that tonight. Um, oh, Joanne, thank you. I think I am going to be fine. So... I'm happy to say that too and um happy to happy to be here. You know, I'm happy to be here and be able to talk to you guys and feel coherent and almost see, almost smile even, not quite, but 
I'm getting there and almost get rid of the weird Botox in my left side. My wrinkles are moving over. Never did I think I'd be so thankful to um, have wrinkles, but I am I'm really thankful to have wrinkles. So um, have a great rest of your Thursday. Um, oh, thank you, Shana. Yeah, I'll see you when I get home. I don't know when that's going to be, but I promise you guys, as soon as I get a release date, you'll be the first to know. Um, obviously, I'll be so excited when that happens. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get out of here um, wheelchair bound. I uh, do have first floor living at home. I have uh, my bedroom, my bathroom are on the first floor. And I do have a second floor, but I don't need to go up there. Like there's a bed, two beds and a bath up there, but they're like storage and my office and um, guest room. So um, hopefully my first floor living will get me out of here sooner rather than later, but I don't have a release date yet. So I don't want to jump the gun and get like really excited about that. Um, but yeah, so um, they may send me home wheelchair bound, which would be great because I don't go back to see the orthopedist till September 22nd. So if they, and after that, it's going to be like two weeks until they decide to take my apparatus off, like one to two weeks after that, they'll decide as long as, you know, everything's healed the way it should be. And when I went in last week, they said everything was healing the way it should be, but obviously they needed another month of, of bone healing. So, um, so once that's all healed, they'll decide to take it off, but it'd be really nice if I got to go home. Um, even if it was in a wheelchair, um, you know, and, um, I'm not going to be like able to do much, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do much around my house. I'm not really going to be able to work, but I'm going to have to not sit in a hospital bed, which would be amazing. So, um, can I, oh, <laughs> Kelly, you're so funny. Imagine. I'm sorry. My phone is broken and Kelly's joking with me about when we were on strike duty, but Anyway, so um, everything's fine here. I just want to update you guys. If you want to come visit, if you need anything, if you want to say hi, you know, reach out. I'm here. Um, if I'm passed out or I'm sleeping or I'm in PT, I will contact you when I get back. But I'm by my phone way more than I was before um, because obviously I can't work eight hours a day. I'm not coherent. I'm on medicine. I'm in physical therapy. I'm in occupational therapy. I'm living in a hospital. Um, but you know, I'm much more, I guess, available because I, I'm not at work, you know, eight to 10 hours a day. So, uh, if you need me, I'm here. Um, I'm going to be out of work probably a little while longer just because of all the stuff going on with me. Um, it's very, very difficult to kind of like stay focused for that long because I get tired. I do get tired really easily and I do have all this stuff going on during the day. So, um, and I'm thankful that, um, my company has, you know, the ability for me to take the time and take care of myself, um, which is very hard for me because I've been, um, with my company 12 years and I've never taken a sick day. So, um, to then have to take like weeks off has been extremely, extremely difficult for me. Um, kind of controlling myself to not go back to work. Um, so I've set, tried to say bye like five times. Um, Kelly, thank you. And Nancy, thank you. But I'm really going to sign off now. And I promise you guys, I'll get up the information about the um, September um, health vet group if you want to join me. Because um, I've had a lot of people ask me about that. And um, have a great rest of your Thursday. Oh, Beth, I hope you feel better. That's terrible. Um, I was only in the ICU like eight days, so you got me beat by like nine days, girl. I hope you feel better soon. Um, but I will put this on my wall in case anyone wants to watch it. And, um, you know, never take for granted being able to use the toilet. Those are my parting words of wisdom. And I will um, talk to you later. Bye.